What's up YouTube? Mike here again and as you can see I got my hands on a Nintendo Switch. Now I've had this thing for about two weeks now, almost three weeks, and I gotta say I'm really enjoying it. So let's take a closer look at it now. Alright, so first let me show you what you get in the box when you get this thing. So obviously you get the Nintendo Switch itself and you get the two Joy-Cons which snap onto the side. You also get the docking station right here and then you get these little guys and this is for when you take the joy cons off of the switch you can slide them on and it gives you bumpers so it makes each joy con like an individual controller you also get this guy which you can slide the joy cons on if you want to use it just as a controller and it works pretty well and then obviously you get an hdmi cable and a charging cable nothing exciting there but obviously the nintendo switch it's been out now for about a month but good luck getting your hands on one. Um, supposedly, Nintendo has upped the production of these, so you should hopefully be able to get one by the end of this month, this month being April. But again, your guess is as good as mine. But I was lucky enough to score this one for $299 uh, here locally. I just happened to be walking by. It was on display. They had only five, and I was lucky enough to pick one up. And uh, I'm not a hardcore big gamer, but... I can definitely respect what Nintendo's done here with the hardware. So speaking of the hardware, this is what appeals to me uh, personally. Like I said, I'm not a big gamer. I don't really game a whole lot, but the hardware on this is awesome. I mean, it, the build quality, it's, um, I guess, plastic, but it feels very solid. The screen's good. Everything just works. I mean, these just slide on and off as they should. I mean... The hardware, Nintendo did a phenomenal job. Now, as far as the specs go on this, it's got 32 gigabytes of internal storage, but it does have a, um, you can expand it with micro SD card. However, there's only one slot. So if you don't download your games, this slot will be taken up by the actual game cartridges, which essentially come on a full size SD card. So that's what they come on. And then you've got the, kickstand here on the back of the switch so if you want to put this on a table it's not very wide as you can see I don't have any nails so it's kind of a pain to get out but you do have a little kickstand here which I apparently can't get out but it's very thin so don't expect it to hold the switch up if you're touching it or if you're on an uneven surface uh, the speakers you can see are right here in the back even though they're rear facing these things are really loud uh, there's also actually that's just for the fan and then you've got your headphone jack. But the speakers on this are really loud. And like I said, it's a 720p screen, but it gets very bright and it looks really good. Even though it's 720p on such a small display, it's really not a big deal. And obviously if they made the display better, that's gonna sacrifice battery. It does have a fairly large battery. Um, I don't know what the hell, milliamp wattage, whatever it is, but I will tell you that you'll get about three hours of battery life with this with your gaming. Um, if you're using headphones, you can extend that out a little bit because obviously if you've got the speakers blaring while you're playing, the battery's going to suffer. But overall, just playing on about three hours per charge for a gaming session, um, which is not great, but it's not terrible. So the cool thing about this is, though, it is USB Type-C. So if you've got an external battery pack of some kind and a USB-C cable, which you can use the one that came with it, you can plug this bad boy in and you can charge it on the go. So that is convenient. That is nice, and obviously through this USB-C is where it also outputs to the dock. So docking this thing is really simple. Um, I'm gonna show you a demo of gameplay with this and kind of how it works with the dock, but you just slide it in here, and then it that's it. It sits in there, sits in there, charges this at the same time. So this is how you charge it as well, and um, this turns it into your console. So. When you dock it, it pops up on your TV or monitor and you can game away. But like I said, the hardware on this is by far my favorite thing. So unfortunately right now, there are only about 10 games for this. The one I got is Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, actually pretty enjoyable game. I generally don't like these types of games, but this one actually is pretty darn good. I've played it now for about two or three hours. Uh, my son, he's pretty much already played through it. So he's been playing it and enjoying it. But um, unfortunately, the store right now is a ghost town. You've literally only got about 10 apps to choose from. So 
take that in consideration if you're going to buy this. So just know that you're going to be limited on games. Now more titles will come out in the future, but I will tell you this, if I was a game developer, I would be trying to develop games for this because this thing has already sold millions of switches. Nintendo has sold millions of these things. And literally, if you're a game developer, you're only competing about competing against about 10 games right now. So even if your game's a mediocre game and you can get it on their little app store, you can make yourself millions overnight, literally. So, but just something to think about. The game selection is not the greatest right now, but I do highly recommend the hardware. Like I said, the hardware is awesome. One thing I would add though is I've got a screen protector on this. You can't tell, but I would definitely get a screen protector because when you dock this thing, it slides in and out. The screen could ever so slightly touch this and you could probably start to get little micro scratches on the screen. I've not seen that, but it's just a precaution, just a recommendation for me to you. If you do get a Switch, I would splurge and you know the five bucks to get a screen protector from Amazon. But with that, I'm going to uh, cut away. I'm going to show you some gameplay of this, and then I'll wrap this up. So let's take a look at some gameplay. Okay, so taking a closer look at the Switch in action here, uh, I got my son demo on it, but you can see the interface is fairly simple. The layout, the buttons. When you have the Joy-Cons connected to the Switch, of course it makes an awesome handheld device. Uh, right now the battery life, when you're playing it like this, they advertise about three hours. And that's pretty much on par. As you can see, it's only a 720p screen. And the sound is actually really good, as you can hear. I mean, that's picking it up from the camera and I'm zoomed in on it. But the sound is good. The screen, even though it's 720p, looks fine, especially just for such a small display. So you really don't notice, but when you do dock it, it brings it up to 1080p. But right now we're loading uh, Zelda, which is unfortunately the biggest limitation of the Nintendo Switch right now is you literally have only 10 games to choose from, maybe 11 at the most, but we'll show you what the store looks like. But this is Zelda playing on the Switch. I mean, the graphics are again 720p, but the textures look good, the controls are good. Um, I've got really big hands. My son's got big hands as well. And no issue playing with it with the Joy-Cons. But obviously if you dock this thing, you're going to want the uh, included, not included, but the $30 gamepad controller. And as you can see when you dock it, it should pick up here. Let me see if I can focus on this. But that's one cool thing is the hardware. I mean, it, it works. So when you dock it, it immediately picks it up on the screen. You continue where you left off. But right now, my son's using the uh, in the uh, accessory, the gamepad. Again, it's not included. It's $30. You don't need it. You can detach the Joy-Cons from the Switch and play with those as well. As you can see, the gameplay on the screen is smooth. It looks good. It scales up to 1080p, and it's a console. So... That's one thing where Nintendo definitely got it right, is the hardware of this is awesome. I mean, it works. It works well. I'm not a big gamer. I'm not necessarily a fan of these types of games, but I can tell you that the hardware, there's no complaints whatsoever. It's well made, well constructed, and it works as it should. So if Nintendo gets more games for this thing, it's just going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that, so hopefully they do. But in the meantime, the best game you can get is the one that they're headlining, and that's uh, Zelda. And it, it works well, plays well, and it looks pretty darn good. So, um, again, like I said, if you are playing this on the screen, you need to go somewhere. You can just immediately undock it, and you should be able to pick up right where you left off. So, bam, it like immediately switches to the Switch, and you can continue playing your game. So, that's where Nintendo definitely got it right. All right, so my overall verdict... Of this, uh, before I get into that, I would recommend you splurge the extra $30 to get this controller. It's more ergonomic. It feels like an Xbox One controller, and it just makes things easier. This, included in the box, works just as well, but I've got kind of fairly large hands, and I can get used to this, but it just kind of feels cramped with the Joy-Cons. But this is money, and it's 30 bucks. but to me, I think it's worth it. But overall, would I recommend this product? Um, Absolutely. Like I said, I think Nintendo nailed it with the hardware. I mean, I'm not a big gamer, but I can appreciate technology and innovation. And I think Nintendo hit a home run with the design of this. So if they get more games on this, this thing is really going to be awesome. 
I've heard rumors that you're going to be able to play NES Classic games on this eventually. I don't know if that'll happen, but if that does, that would be phenomenal. So one thing I would say, though, if you're wanting to get this, don't pay scalpers. Just wait for this to come out. Eventually, they're going to hit the shelves. But if you're paying, you know, $400, $500 for this, then it's not worth it. So please don't do that and don't support the scumbag scalpers who like to buy up all these so nobody else can and try and make a profit. Try and get this in store. And like I said, if this had more games, more titles available right off the bat, then I would say, hey, maybe if you want to pay an extra 50 bucks at the most, 100 bucks, then it might be worth it. But right now, you've really only got one good game to play and it's just, you might as well wait. So wait for it to hit the shelves because by the time it hits the shelves, in mass, there should hopefully be more games for it. So anyways, that was just kind of a quick down and dirty review and demo of the Nintendo Switch. Like I said, I do recommend it as a buy. I think it's a great product. I'm definitely gonna keep this. I'm not gonna sell it. I'm holding out for more games though. But if you have any questions on this product or you wanna see something demo, just shoot it in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please do so. Thanks.